Okay, we have a question on integration by substitution. This is from um, November 2010. Um, so we have been given a substitution here, which is x is equal to two sine theta, and we have to show this i as this i over here. Okay, so um, we have x equal to two sine theta. So your x square will be four sine square theta. This will be four sine square theta. And then your under root four minus x square would be under root four minus four sine square theta. And this would be four into one minus sine square theta, which makes it four cos square theta. And this is gonna be two cos theta, okay? And uh, like, so if I start plugging in the values here, so I plug in this, um, yeah. So this is going to be four sine square theta over, this one is going to be two cos theta. And the next turn is for the uh, dx by d theta from here, okay? So you have dx by d theta, that is two cos theta. So your dx is simply two cos theta d theta. So instead of uh, this dx over here, I'll be writing it as two cos theta d theta. And then comes the turn for the for changing the limits. So um, then I have x equal to zero. So this two sine theta is going to be zero. So your theta is zero. So this lower limit is going to be zero. When we have x equal to one, so you have two sine theta equal to one. Your sine theta is equal to half and your theta is going to be pi by six. So we have shown all of this, like, you know, this is going to be canceled with this. So we have shown this initial form in terms of X in terms of theta over here. So we, we get three marks for this, and then we have to find the exact value of this I. So let me clear up the things here for that. So clear all of this, all of this. And I'll clear this much as well. Okay, so we have to, now we have this i, let me just knead it up. This is zero to pi by six, and this is four sine square theta d theta. This is the question that we have, and we have to find its exact value here. Um, so, you know, we can't integrate this sine square theta. Remember those two rules that if you have two sine square theta, that is one minus cos two theta, okay? And this two cos square theta is going to be one plus cos two theta. So we'll be using this one here. So I would rather be writing this because you have four here. So I can write it as two into this one minus cos two theta d theta with the limits from zero to pi by six, okay? So we integrate this, we apply the limit zero to pi by six. The integral of one is theta and this one is going to be sine two theta over two. You plug in the limits here, so you get two into this pi by six minus high half sine, two pi by six makes it pi by three minus when you put zero. So this is going to be all, both of them are going to be equal to zero. So we have two into pi by six and sine pi by three is under three over two. So this is going to be under three over four. So you can leave this up to this, or you can write it as pi by three minus under root three by two. This is the answer, the exact value of this i. Please check your answer. Yes. 